<coughs> okay so so we now come to the galvanic cell now we have fairly well understood that in this case it is zn which becomes zn2 plus plus two electrons and here cu2 plus gains 2 becomes this the standard that we that we are taking for reference now these two reactions are called the these the, these two these two things happening in two different cells is called the half cell this is called half cell right and this is half cell reaction okay this is a half cell reaction <clears throat> okay and we know that that at here there is a there is an oxidation taking place and there is a reduction taking place here so this is called a redox coupling okay they are redox couple or the half cells fine redox couples or the half cells each of them is called yeah each of them is called a half cell together they form the whole 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 cell right now it is not that it is only zinc and copper which can be taken together there are n number of combinations that you can take and each will give you a different voltage okay different voltage depending on what you use in both the half cells so so a number of combinations of such combinations is possible a number of such combinations is possible where we take two different half cells half cells to form a now what happens at at each in in each of the electrolyte electrode interface okay two things are attempting to happen right at each electrode electrolyte interface electrolyte interface two things are attempting to happen what the metal the metal atoms are trying to leave back an electron and jump into the solution into the electrolyte as ions fine the metal atom is trying to leave is trying to leave the two the 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 electrons not necessarily two the the electrons on the electrode on the electrode making it 
trying to make it negative. Trying to make it negative. <coughs> and jump into the electrolyte trying to make it positive positive correct trying to make it positive okay simultaneously so the, so that that is that is one thing that that is that it is trying to do so zinc atom is trying to to maybe leave the electrons here and jump here as zn2 plus okay simultaneously the positive ions simultaneously the positive ions from the electrolyte are trying to trying to jump to the electrode Okay. Trying to make it make it positive and thereby the electrode as negative correct the, the the electrolyte sorry the electrolyte as negative because you are drawing away the positive charges from the electrolyte right fine now as you as you must have remember must have come to know by now that in that tussle who wins the, the the first process wins on, on on the left hand side. Here the zinc atoms win the battle. They are not letting the zinc ions to come here. Correct. Similarly, here it is the Cu2 pluses which have been su successful in jumping onto the electrode. Understand? Understand? They'll be able to jump onto the electrode and and this opposite process of copper trying to leave the electrons on the on the on the metal and trying to jump here, that is that is that is not successful. Okay. Fine. Now the, 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 no, I am not saying that. There, there is some kind of tussle going on in, in both the things, right? I am not saying that it is attracting. There is another reason why that, that is able to happen when zinc and copper is there, why zinc is able to push electrons into this and through this to this electrode. That, that's a different matter. I will come to that. But I am not saying that it is attracting. Somehow these two processes are, are in a tug of war and one of these wins at each of the electrode. I am saying that. Okay, Only one of them wins at one of the electrodes. Now let us try to understand what happens then. When it leaves an electron here and jumps with a positive charge here, then, then what happens and, and it keeps on continuing. Right, it keeps on continuing. So what happens in the equilibrium? 
in the equilibrium what happens there will be the, the, this electrode will be a negatively charged one surrounded by positively charged zinc ions right so i am not <coughs> even bothered about uh, what ions they are i know that a negative negative thing is 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 surrounded by a positive thing right this is what will happen at the interface nothing not neutrality had had it had it been attempting to maintain neutrality then this jumping would not have happened it has become a the two positive and negative charges have got actually separated you see it they have got separated correct so so here what happens in the in the left in the left cell in the left cell the charges have got separated with the zinc electrode becoming negatively charged and the electrolyte and the electrolyte becoming positively charged okay fine so there is a separation of charges come back to electrostatics suppose you have positive charges here okay and negative charges here separated then what happens an electric field gets set between them like this okay now we define potential as the work done in moving a positive charge from one point to another okay let us try to understand that so what is potential difference potential difference is the work done in moving a unit positive charge a unit positive charge potential difference between two points right potential difference is the work done in moving a unit positive charge from one point to another fine now what happens so suppose this is a point and this is a point we are trying to move something from we want to find out the potential difference between point a and point b so what do i do i start from point b i start from point b and with what a, a one coulomb charge a one coulomb of charge and then i try to move towards a okay if i have to do work if i have to do work if the external agency does the work then what happens then potential of a is greater than potential of b okay now let us try to understand do we understand this so what happens if there is a separation of charge there has to be an electric field that will set up originating from the from the positive charge and terminating on the 
negative charge now what happens if i take a a plus 1 coulomb plus 1 coulomb charge from here to here who does the work the external agency does the work i do the work why do i do the work because a positive charge a positive charge has a force in this direction q into e it it gets it, it experiences a force in the same direction as the field understand now what happens due to that if this is getting pushed to the right okay then if i am moving it in this direction then i have applied my own force so what happens i will do the work in moving from point b to point a okay because i have done the work so the potential energy of a is greater than potential energy of b potential is nothing but potential energy potential difference is nothing but difference in potential energy when you are moving a one coulomb charge yes why because i have done the work work energy theorem that's why it's positive yes correct so i have done the work i have done the work so the potential of this becomes greater correct now come here so what is happening i i have amplified this okay so so let us say i zoom in and see that my electrode is like this which is negatively charged which is negatively charged around it there are positively charged ions okay and a similar kind of thing has has arisen here the separated charges develop a potential what comes at the higher potential the electron the electron <clears throat> what is at a lower potential the electron get that point and the opposite occurs here what happens here the here the the pluses they jump onto the electron so the electron becomes positive so the electron becomes positive and we find that it is surrounded by by the negatives okay so a potential difference develops there as well do we see that do we see that and these potentials these potentials are called electrode potentials okay <clears throat> the potential the potential developing on each electrode on each electrode is called electrode potential 